All right, what's up, dudes? Max here. It's literally in the middle of the day. I've barely had any time. Uh, baby stuff takes up a lot of my mornings now. Uh, so I'm sitting down, and the first thing that pops up on my screen is this. <laughs> wow! Wow! Um, I'd have to move my head out of the way of her other two heads that she has. I'm kind of blown away. Oh, I haven't looked at her face yet. Okay, her face looks pretty cool. Okay, she looks, she does look pretty cool. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh God. Uh, so Biken is officially uh, revealed, it looks like. It looks like there's some gameplay trailers. Look, I can't stop. <laughs> this is a problem. I'm sitting here like <laughs> this whole time. Swear to God, she might be one of the most eye-catching characters ever made now. Um, I don't know if I specifically agree with it, but she's going to be popular. That's for sure. Anyway, uh, Biken has now officially been revealed for Guilty Gear Strive. This is easily mine and all the other Biken mains that don't play Guilty Gear's favorite character. So, uh, yes, this is one of those characters, like I've been saying for a long time, is just naturally a staple. And people tend to like the character more than the game itself sometimes. So I'm personally, as someone that like really enjoyed playing Biken in, in Guilty Gear uh, Exard, always found her to be kind of like a struggling character because Guilty, Guilty Gear characters after like Leo came out, Leo always gets the job done for me, which is kind of like a, a weird balance of characters that are like obviously good at opening people up versus Biken, which is a weird nuanced sort of character that does things in a very specific way with like alpha counters and stuff. I am super curious outside of her obvious new design direction. I am super curious what her uh, gameplay is going to be adjusted to and how they are going to change her leading into this game. Because before the latest DLC characters, I was thinking there's no way they can let a character like Biken into this game with characters being generally more simple. But since then, Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos and Jacko have come out and they're all pretty weird and do their own really unique Guilty Gear things. So I honestly hope they go in that direction. I hope they make her kind of crazy and she's got a lot of insane nuance. I can't, this can't stay on the screen. We need to start this trailer, dude. Oh, I'm going back to Samurai Showdown. <laughs> Alright, Kurosawa mode engaged. Oh, the music, though. Okay. What was that? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's definitely biking. If there was any doubt, if there was any doubt at all. Oh, 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 already fun looking B&Bs. Damn, Tatami Matt looks like it's active forever. I did see a uh, an alpha counter sort of thing. Holy shit, animation. Oh my God, she's so fucking cool. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. So looks like she has instant overhead still. Instant overhead uh, air DP. What? Okay, a uh, fascinating amount of mobility. It's unfortunate that no one else is going to get to play this character. Now she just has a gun instead of her hip rifle. It's unfortunate no one else is going to get to play this character but me. It's very sad. That it's like going to be just me. Jesus, the character art. And this is the new stage. Holy hell, man. I already saw some insanely cool looking stuff. I love this character art, right? From here, you get to show her face and not her other two heads that she has on her body. And uh, she looks really damn cool. I like how gruff and rugged she looks. That's my favorite version of Biken. Um, I'm really impressed so far, uh, but I think there's actually a gameplay breakdown in general that goes over all of her moves and stuff too. Yeah, so here is the, uh, here is the Biken starter guide, which will be great. I'm, I'm glad these are coming out around the same time. That was a decent trailer too. They showed off enough stuff. It wasn't super short. Bike. Huh. boasts an arsenal of useful special moves. What the hell was that Control tether thing? What the shit? And overwhelm the opponent with their What is the crazy ass looking slam. tether? What? Tatami Gaishi. Bike slams her foot to the ground, flipping over a tatami mat. Right? It looks really shallow now. Damn. Box during the stomp. 
and launches the opponent on hit. Okay. In the air version, the tatami mat appears as a projectile. As the tatami mat will not disappear until it touches right. the ground. This is bike in neutral in general. The opponents wake up or to prevent their approach. Oh, okay. Kabaddi. This attack draws the opponent in towards bike. So grappling hook. It's excellent range makes it. And as surely as air grapple, range. right? The slash version attaches the opponent to bike in on block or hit. What the shit? Once attached, the characters will be drawn together. The oh my god. Them together grows more powerful the farther they are apart. Okay, what the f what the what? will be released after a certain period of time. A successful This is ridiculous. Also attaches the opponent to bike in. Pressing heavy This is so again, weird. Okay. I'm 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 for it though. It's weird. Performs a follow-up attack. Right. Holding down heavy slash allows you to delay the timing of the attack. Bike end can pass through the opponent during this move. Interesting that it doesn't do like the cross through thing that she had before. Bike end slashes the area around her with this overhead attack. Oh, I thought this was DP. Maybe maybe I've always been knowing it wrong. In mid -air Damn, can you do instant instant air? Opponent when used yes, you. Whoa, jumping. dude. Yes, you certainly can. Uh, I guess they made that easier. From the opponent. Bike end can counter an attack once this move is out. Uh oh. She performs a highly damaging attack after countering an attack at close range. Uh oh. She can repel the opponent's attack after countering. Oh my from god. A no way. Okay, I'm going to say it right now. We're watching this as it's happening, but did they turn her entire alpha counter system into a regular move? Did Use they? This move with caution. As it cannot counter throws or projectiles. Right. And leaves bike and vulnerable on whiff. Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. Oh my god, they might Bike have. moves forward while unleashing three powerful slashes. It's Dude, did they finally do the thing that I've been complaining about for literally years where they should like make her a normal character? As well as a way to interrupt the opponent's strings. Kenji. That's cool looking. Biken launches a massive firework shell as a powerful Jesus. projectile. Hey, where's her gun? Firework shell will explode Maybe it's a command normal? Block, hit, or after traveling a certain distance. That is decent damage. This attack works well as a poke from far range or as a finisher <laughs> in a Bam, Shoot your ass. The air version changes the projectile's trajectory to a downward diagonal direction. Oh, shit! <laughs> Look for an That's cool looking. To get in while using far standing slash and standing heavy slash as pokes. Both versions of Kabaddi work well as pokes from outside the range of her standing normals. Damn. Once you're Damn. In, you can use her the stagger pressure is really cool there. And Yo Zansen, an overhead for powerful mix up. Shut down the opponent's offensive attempts using Hiragi. Attaching yourself to the opponent using her ground throw or the slash version of Kabaddi makes it easier to maintain close. Dude, wait, whoa. Well granting access to powerful strings. They and did combos. it. Thank you for watching. Dude, they actually did it. So, okay, okay. So for anyone that doesn't understand, um, Biken is a character that has historically in almost, I'm pretty sure all of iterations, I'd have to go back to Guilty Gear 1. Biken's a character that has had a, a gimmick about her gameplay mechanic where she blocks and she's able to do moves out of block. You know, like when you're in Street Fighter V and you do um, a V counter, I got I can't remember what the hell it is. It's historically known as an alpha counter because it sort of came from the alpha series where you're able to do a, a move out of blocking. And Biken was like that. She had several things she can do out of block. Unless they did not mention it in this starter guide, it seems that that was her gimmick before. Now her gimmick is that she essentially tethers herself to you, giving her unique mobility and situational differences that are completely different than anything she's ever had before, right? Where she's literally, you're like attached to her. Um, it seems like they gave her the tether instead of the alpha counter stuff, which is dramatically different. This is sort of the thing that I, I, I constantly complained about the character where I always like her and she's fun. And I, but I think so, like, I like the character more than her gameplay over the years. Um, and they actually did something about it. They made her sort of more straightforward offensive, it feels like. At least from this moveset right here, it feels like they're just going for an offensive gameplay character. And that, outside of her giant fucking melons, 
That is honestly even more surprising to me because they completely took a re reapproach with the character's gameplay style, right? They redesigned her. So like, oh, well, it's going to give people what they want instead of like a weird kind of hybrid gimmick character. And just because she was a gimmick before, she's been super good in several games at some at several points, right? She's been either really, really rough to use at the beginning of XR to pretty damn good later on when they patched her. And in previous, like the older 2D versions of Guilty Gear, she's had some games where she's ridiculously good because of it. You have to like change the way you play against Biken, like the whole game, which is naturally very Guilty gear -y. Um, that's sort of changing, and I don't feel like, at least right now, it doesn't feel like that's bad because I've always felt that she needs to be a retooled. Like, she's such a cool character that so many people are excited about. She should be slightly more accessible gameplay-wise, but like I say, the only reason you think make something more accessible in a fighting game is if it leads to new and interesting things, right? If you're able to get new situations and new crazy things that you can do with your moveset, then I think that's fine, right? It's specifically when you just take away things and don't put anything else new in there, that's the problem. So I would like to say in conclusion, um, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. I do kind of wish they took a different approach with her design. They do, oh, they went a, a little bit more in like a certain direction. Uh, but I think she looks like a much better version of her XR variation, which is what, you know, a lot of people think Biken looks like. And that XR version already looked a lot different than what she looked like in the older 2D games. I'm pretty happy. I think she comes out at the end of the month. We have an absolute shit stunt, shit stuff, shit ton of stuff to play before all of this uh, comes out, including like a KOF legacy. And I'm pretty damn happy. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Biken and her dramatic gameplay changes and her dramatic other changes and i'll be back as soon as possible with some gameplay videos and impressions and combos as soon as she's available leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more my name is max and i'll see you next time